If you think the ocean isn't important, imagine Earth without it. With every drop of water you drink, every breath you take, you're connected to the sea, no matter where on Earth you live. Asking why we didn't do something on our watch to save sharks and bluefin tuna and squids and coral reefs and the living ocean while there still was time? Well, now is that time. I hope for your help to explore and protect the wild ocean in ways that will restore the health and, in so doing, secure hope for humankind. Health to the ocean means health for us. We're putting hundreds of millions of tons of plastic and other trash into the sea, millions of tons of discarded fishing nets, gear that continues to kill. We're clogging the ocean, poisoning the planet's circulatory system, and we're taking out hundreds of millions of tons of wildlife. Barbarically, we're killing sharks for shark fin soup undermining food chains that shape planetary chemistry and drive the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, the oxygen cycle, the water cycle, our life support system. Incredibly, we're still killing bluefin tuna, truly endangered and much more valuable alive than dead. Why you should care that nearly half of the coral reefs have disappeared, why a mysterious depletion of oxygen in large areas of the Pacific should concern not only the creatures that are dying, but it really should concern you. It does concern you as well. Imagine the ocean without fish. Imagine what that means to our life support system. 10% of the big fish still remain. There's still some blue whales. There's still some krill in Antarctica or a few oysters in Chesapeake Bay. Half the coral reefs are still in pretty good shape with a jeweled belt around the middle of the planet. There's still time, but not a lot to turn things around. Thousands have lived without love, none without water. 97% of Earth's water is ocean, no blue, no green. The next 10 years may be the most important in the next 10,000 years the best chance our species will have to protect what remains of the natural systems that give us life. To cope with climate change, we need new ways to generate power. We need new ways, better ways, to cope with poverty, wars, and disease. We need many things to keep and maintain the world as a better place. But nothing else will matter if we fail to protect the ocean. Our fate in the ocean are one. No water, no life. No blue, no green. Now is the time. <laughs>